Oh no. What you just saw was a bunch of tests of the Phoenix Light rocket plane. It was supposed to launch under rocket power and then glide back to the ground. Um, the problem was it kept getting stuck on the rail and I don't really have the way to fix that while I'm out here at the launch site. And then when I was throwing it, the wing broke off. It's not supposed to be tilted like that, but. To make this work, I just need to add another rail guide. That was why I was getting jammed, I think, and probably water instead of air only to give it more thrust. The design of this rocket has the rocket engine at the top so that when the water's in there, it moves the center of mass forward instead of backward, keeping it nice and stable under rocket boost, and then it can be in the right place during glide. Um, I'm not really sure how that'll work because it didn't get off the ground, really. I have now repaired the wing. I glued it back onto the main fuselage wooden piece and I added this foam strut in the middle that holds it on there a lot more rigidly than it did before. When I flew it before, it was just glued on at the front and back here in these small contact points. It was really weak. Now there's glue running along the top here and down both of these sides, which is a lot stronger than it was before. All right, we've got the rocket plane set up on the rail again, and there's been a couple modifications. The biggest one is we added a second rail guide here, which should help make sure it moves smoothly up the rail and doesn't get jammed. You can also see there's a lot of duct tape and even a piece of plastic on the underside of the wings. This protects the wing from the water. This duct tape's for the wet grass, and this is for the rocket exhaust. That'll make sure the wing doesn't fall apart when it gets wet, which means we can put water in the rocket to make sure it has a lot more thrust on takeoff. And yeah, hopefully it works this time. Three, two, one. Yes! Ish. Let's go see how it looks. Looks undamaged. Yeah, it looks good. The outer wing panels, the unprotected wing sections, look unwet. The tail even looks dry, so it was a little nose heavy. We're gonna move the tail weight back a little bit and then try it again. Ooh, oh, oh. So that last flight looked tail heavy, and so I'm gonna move the weight a little further forward. All right, we're set up for the last flight of today. I moved the tail weight a little further forward. Hopefully that'll help it glide better. I also added an onboard camera pointing up, sort of towards the nozzle so we can see what the water looks like exiting the nozzle. I think that'll be really cool. This will be the last flight for today, and we'll see how it goes. Oh no.